GSP versus Michael Bisping is a terrible matchup. Y'all should feel bad about yourselves if you're pumped up about it. First and foremost, it stalls out one of the healthiest divisions in the UFC, and that's the UFC middleweight division. You've got legit contenders in Yoel Romero, Jacare Souza, Anderson Silva, maybe heard of that guy. They all deserve a title shot more than GSP, and now they're on the sidelines. And add in the fact this, Dana White said on SportsCenter that the fight isn't happening until later this year. That means that the fight after that isn't happening until later, later this year or next year. So think about that. Now you've got Yoel, Jacare, Anderson Silva, who is definitely not getting any younger. None of them are getting any younger. They're all up there, and they've, they've all earned their shot. And now none of them get it until at least late 2017, which is craziness, pure craziness. But it speaks to the UFC's money fight mentality that's sweeping everything. But think about this for a second. Is this really the biggest money fight that they could get for GSP? Is it bigger than GSP versus Connor? No. Is it bigger than GSP versus Johnny Hendricks too, or versus Nick Diaz too? I really don't think so, honestly. For Bisping, yes, it is the biggest money fight for Michael Bisping. So fair play to him on that, and I'm sure he'll be rolling around in the dough and feeling good about that. But for GSP, it feels like a wasted return. A wait We've waited three and a half years to see GSP inside the cage again, and they put him with Bisping. Like, it just doesn't make any sense on that level because GSP is going to bring the pay-per-view money regardless of who he's against. So why not take it above and beyond by giving him that matchup that we actually want to see? Instead, they're going to they're gonna clog up the division, they're going to stall it out, and they're going to make about the same amount of money they would have anyway if they just put GSP versus literally anybody versus Mickey Gall or CM Punk. Not really, come on. But you get what I'm saying. Either way. It's a crazy matchup. I don't understand it. And if you disagree, feel free to let me know why. I'd love to hear the defense of this one and hear why it actually makes a ton of sense.